Welcome to the McNeese Family Law Podcast Series. This episode is an overview of custody law by Paul Helvey, attorney at law. Mr. Helvey is a member and chair of the Family Law Group at McNeese, the immediate past chair of the Family Law Section Pennsylvania State Bar, and was named Best Lawyers 2016 Family Law Lawyer of the Year for Harrisburg. In this video, I will review the manner in which parenting decisions or as is often referred to custody related decisions are made in Pennsylvania when a separating couple cannot reach an agreement on their own. Typically what happens is a custody complaint is filed and in central Pennsylvania the next thing that occurs is that a custody conciliation conference is scheduled and held. A custody conciliator is an attorney who is assigned by the court to assist the parties in reaching an agreement. A few things that you should know before you attend one of these conferences. First is that in Pennsylvania there's really two types of custody. There is legal custody and physical custody. Legal custody is the right and the obligation to make important life decisions regarding your child or children. That can include educational decisions, medical decisions, legal decisions, and day-to-day -day decisions such as what types of activities uh, your children will be involved in. And the second is physical custody, and that is the actual parenting plan. Who will take care of your child or children uh, on what days of the week, uh, or it could be a week-to-week -week schedule as well. At the custody conference, as I said, an agreement, the parties will try to reach an agreement, and if they are able to reach an agreement, a court order will ultimately be entered. The various custody schedules that exist range from a week on, week off, as previously mentioned, that would be what is typically referred to as an equally shared custody arrangement, but there are also other types of equally shared custody arrangements, including arrangements where one party may have every Monday, Tuesday, the other party has every Wednesday, Thursday, and the parties alternate the weekends. That is uh, another pretty common equally shared custody arrangement. Uh, but most custody arrangements revolve around a 14-day cycle because there are two weekends within a 14-day cycle and weekends are typically divided between the parties. In the event that an agreement cannot be reached at the custody conference, the case will go to a custody trial. One of the big decisions that you have to make prior to going to a custody trial is whether a custody evaluation should occur. A custody evaluation is a process whereby a a psychologist will meet with you, the other parent, and your children, and will ask questions, will run tests, will watch you interact with your children, and will ultimately make a recommendation to the court as to what custody schedule is in the best interest of your children. If you have any questions or would like more information, please contact me at the information provided on the screen.